Hi guys, I'm BJ Posnecki. Today's going to be a little bit different video than what I normally do. Full disclaimer, I'm not a techie guy. I'm actually a home inspector, but I had so much trouble trying to hook up my printer to, we just got the 5G, T-Mobile 5G gateway home internet, and the security on this thing is really, really good. Well, you may have trouble hooking it up to some of your devices like a printer, maybe an old TV. So I got a little trick for you that I'm going to walk you through in this video. First thing we're going to do is open up the T-Mobile Internet app. And it's going to take us to the home screen. Okay. We're going to go to the middle here where it says network. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to create a split network. We're going to create a network within the network. So, because why this thing isn't working or maybe other devices is because the security is so high. So, what we're going to do is we're going to create another network. Hit the plus sign at the bottom right. We're going to just create uh, a name for this. So, I already have one print, this printer on here. So, I'm going to do printer 2. And then, this can be any password you want. It doesn't have to be the one that's... Uh, on your router so i'm just gonna put in eight digits in here just to create password we're gonna go to frequency band we're gonna knock it down to 2.4 because we don't need high speed for a printer and then this is the important part we're going to change it from wpa2 and 3 which is the high security we're going to knock it down to wpa2 and then we're going to go ahead and hit add, okay? And you're going to get this pop up here. We're going to lose internet connection is what that's saying for like 90 seconds. Success, printer 2 has been added to your network. Once you get this success screen, just scroll up here, hit next. And you're going to see that new network that you created. And that is what we're going to hook your printer up to. This is where I'm going to tell you guys your best bet is just to follow the instructions for your printer because usually these instructions are very user friendly and very accurate. The only thing I'll point out is if your printer does not show up on the Wi Fi, a lot of times you have to hit a sequence of buttons in order to get it to show. So, like on the Canon, I got to hit the Wi-Fi button, I got to hold it down until the light starts blinking. And then I got to hit the color button and then the Wi-Fi button again. And then it flashes really quick. And then I go into my settings, into the Wi-Fi settings. On whatever device you're using. And you're going to see Canon, the model name and number and all that. And then you click on that and then you go through and follow all your instructions. The important part here is when you follow the instructions and you get to the point where it asks you for your wireless router, that's where you're going to put in that new network that we created, the printer to network. And then the next screen, it's going to ask you for your password. And that's when you're going to put in that password that we did for the new network, the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight password. The only thing I got kind of a little jammed up on is I went all the way through and with this Canon printer, I got to a point where it was asking, uh, or I'm sorry, there was a, a part where it was acquiring product information and I kept getting the, the buffering uh, working uh, icon and it just, I let it go for like 10 minutes and it never stopped. So I canceled it and it ended up connecting the printer to the Wi-Fi. Now, when all you're when you're done with everything, whatever brand printer you have, once you're done with everything, you have to go back into your device that you were using to set it up, right? So let's just pretend we're using this iPad. We have to go back to the T-Mobile network, okay? You have to get out of the printer two network and go back and click back into the T-Mobile network, or else it's not going to work. So I made that mistake. I thought I had to stay in the printer two network and it was not printing. I had to go back to the main T-Mobile network. I hope you guys found the video helpful. Like I said, I'm not a techie guy. I just, I felt like this video might help people. So that's why I wanted to shoot it. I do more 
home maintenance, how-to troubleshooting videos for your home. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you found it helpful. Please like it, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.